Today on Let's Celebrate TV, we're featuring a recipe sent in by a viewer. We're taking advantage of all the fresh blueberries and we're going to make a lemon blueberry muffin loaf. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, hors d'oeuvres, and cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep it all as simple as possible, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain, because we know that you really can. So if you like this episode, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell, you'll get a new episode every single week. So here we are today, we're outside in our outdoor kitchen in the mountains of upstate Pennsylvania. So there may be a little extra noise, a dog barking, a passing golf cart, but we'll do our best. Today's celebration is all about a sweet treat. We're gonna be making a lemon blueberry muffin loaf. What a mouthful, huh? But it's delicious and super easy. Now, this recipe comes from my friend, Joanne Ventura. You know, I'm not much of a baker, and she said, you can make this, trust me. And guess what, I can, and I'm gonna share it with you. So the first step is I have my oven heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 Celsius. Next, we're gonna make a loaf pan because it's in a loaf. This is my standard loaf pan in America, it's a nine by five, and it has the measurements right here on the edge. So it also has metric for the UK and other places, which is 23 by 13 centimeters. So this way, if you get a pan that size, you'll make the loaf consistently. I just need to grease this pan. Now you can do it the way grandma did, wipe it with butter, put in some flour, or you can cheat like me using a baking spray, a cooking spray that has flour in it, liberally. All right, I'm just gonna set this aside. Here we go, all done. Next step, we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. Nice big bowl of flour. Two cups, which is 250 grams all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, not soda, baking powder. That's gonna help it rise. A half a teaspoon of salt. Why salt? Salt helps balance out the sweetness in a lot of sweet dishes. Now we wanna give this a little whisk just to combine these ingredients all together. Pretty easy so far. To this, our next ingredient, I have a pint of blueberries. Now you're probably wondering, why am I adding the blueberries now? The reason is we're gonna mix them in gently in the flour. They're gonna get coated by the flour and then when we bake them, they won't sink to the bottom. They'll be dispersed throughout the whole cake. So they go right in. So that's our blueberries in. Next is lemon zest. I told you it was a lemon blueberry cake. So this is the zest of a whole lemon, which is about two tablespoons. I just like to use a whole lemon. Right in. Now all we have to do is gently fold this together so we don't break up the blueberries. This will get these blueberries all coated in flour. It will disperse the lemon zest throughout so we'll have a nice lemony blueberry cake or muffin, or loaf. All right, I'm gonna put these guys aside to hang out. Now, our wet ingredients. I have four ounces of unsalted butter, which is 113 grams. This is very, very soft. I've let this sit out all morning and it's 80 here in the mountains, so it's nice and soft. To that, 
I'm going to add a cup or 29 grams of grad granulated sugar, which is castor sugar in other places. Right in. Okay. We're going to cream that together. What does that mean? That means we're going to combine it until it's light and fluffy. Now you can do this the way grandma did with just a spoon by hand. If you have a stand mixer, you can do that or good old trusty hand mixer. We'll get a little noisy. All cream together, fluffy. Now some eggs. I have two eggs. I'm going to add one at a time and mix after each egg. Now you'll notice I have my eggs in a separate bowl. Why? I don't want to crack something right in my batter in case I get eggshell in that I don't see. This way, no eggshells. One at a time. The other egg. Finally, I have a half a cup or 122 grams of plain Greek yogurt. Now, you want plain yogurt, not vanilla flavored. You can use full fat or low fat. I'm using the full fat because I'm baking. I'm already using butter. Let's live a little. Put this right in. Get a quick little mix. I'm going to scrape this down a little bit. Now we're going to add our dry ingredients. We're just going to start a little bit at a time. And we're going to stir gently to combine. Just like that. All right. Pour the rest in. Just gently fold it in because you don't want to break up these blueberries. You may get one that bursts, but you want to try and be careful and not do that. That's why I prefer to do this with a hand mixer and not my stand mixer because then I have to disassemble it all it's just a little easier this way. All right. And you're really just doing this until it just combines together. This is a very thick batter. It's almost like a dough. And that's what you want. It's nice, thick, rich batter. All right. Now, Remember that muffin tin we had? Or loaf pan, really? Here we go, right in the loaf pan. Right in. Now you may think it looks like it's not all the way mixed, but it really is. Don't worry if you see little streaks of flour or something, it will all come together. All right. Just spread it out. Gently. All right. Now, this is going to go into my 350 degree oven for about an hour, maybe an hour 10. What I like to do is I check it at 45 minutes. Like any other baking, you want a toothpick to come out clean, but you want it to be a light golden brown. Now, normally, I would tell you, We'll be right back, I'll clean the decks. But today, I've got one already made for you down here in my fridge, pulling away. Here we go, beautiful. 
Let's taste it. Ooh. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's golden, full of berries. Let's give a little taste. Mmm. Wow. What's great about this, this loaf, it's not overly sweet. Even with a cup of sugar. It's full of blueberries, full of the lemon. It's a little denser than a normal cake. It's dense like a muffin would be, but it's delicious. You could serve this for breakfast, for a snack. You could put it out as dessert. You could put it out at a party. It's a beautiful thing. All right, as always, guys, we'll have the recipe up in the video description on YouTube and on our website. And we'll see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes and Fridays for our basic skills day. Because remember, you're always all invited to come on over, come on in, and let's celebrate. Cheers. <laughs>